हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम किरण जोशी होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड साउंड वेलकम टू क्लास सिक्स जोग्राफी चैप्टर एट इंडिया क्लाइमेट वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ एज इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द टाइटल ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया इट्स वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इन दिस चैप्टर Let's begin with the climate of India. But before that, let's understand the various terms used in this connection. You may have heard and used the word weather quite often. Children, weather is the daily state in the atmosphere. It includes day-to-day -day changes in temperature, rainfall, and sunshine, etc. The weather could be hot or hot or cold, cloudy or windy, sunny or wet. When certain fixed weather patterns continue over a few weeks or months, they are called seasons. India experiences four main uh, major seasons in a year that follow each other in a cycle. Then uh, first one, the cold weather uh, season or the winter season. extends from december to february then the hot weather season or the summer season extends from march to may then the southwestern monsoon season or the rainy season or the advancing monsoon season extends from uh, june to september and the fourth season is the season of retreating monsoon or the autumn season extends from october and november As I said the first season is the cold weather season or the winter season it falls between the months of december and february during the winter season sun rays do not fall directly in the region winter is more severe in north india where the temperature uh, drops very low however the south india especially uh, the coastal uh, areas hardly experience winter After the winter season comes the summer season which extends from March to May. In this season the sun rays fall uh, sun rays uh, falls uh, rays fall direct uh, vertically in the region uh, causing a sharp increase in temperature. Strong hot and dry winds called loo blow during the day in the northern plains and northwestern parts of India. Next in the cycle is the southwest uh, monsoon season that lasts from June to September. The moisture laden winds of southwest monsoon enter India from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. As you can see from the map also the the onset of southwest monsoon occurs each year around the first week of june the monsoon further advances to the north and uh, by 15 july the entire country comes under the spell of monsoon then comes the season of retreating monsoon or uh, autumn by the early october the monsoon starts withdrawing or retreating from north india the retreating monsoon season is spread over october and november as you can see uh, from the map the retreating monsoon brings heavy rainfall to tamil nadu and parts of andhra pradesh karnataka and kerala this was the explanation of the four main uh, seasons of india however the term climate means the average weather condition of a place measured over many years India is said to have a tropical monsoon type of climate. The term monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mausim meaning season. India is located in the tropical region as you can see uh, in the map uh, at the back. Uh, therefore most of the rain that India receives is brought by monsoon winds. India is an agricultural land as we all know and Indian agriculture depends upon the monsoon. Good monsoon means adequate rain and a good crop. There are various factors that affect the climate of a place such as the location of the place, altitude, distance from the sea and relief. As India is a vast land that stretches from the Himalayas to the Indian Ocean, therefore India has a wide range of climatic conditions that differ region to region. For example, 
जैसलमेर एंड बीकानेर इन द डेजर्ट ऑफ राजस्थान आर वेरी हॉट द्रास एंड कारगिल एंड लद्दाख आर एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड एंड मुंबई एंड कोलकाता और एनी कोस्टल एरिया हैव मॉडरेट क्लाइमेट मौसनरम इन मेघालय इज द वर्ल्ड हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल रिसीविंग प्लेस वाइल इट इज क्वाइट पॉसिबल दैट इन अ पर्टिकुलर ईयर जैसलमेर इन राजस्थान में रिसीव नो रेन एट ऑल एट ऑल now from the climate let uh, let us move our attention towards the natural vegetation of india you might have seen and maybe sometimes grown also a variety of plant life such as grass shrubs bushes trees etc children when the plant life grows on its own in an area without any human interference or efforts it is called natural vegetation natural vegetation is also called flora of a region natural vegetation varies with uh, relief and climate it means the natural vegetation found on mountains is different from that found uh, on the plains and the uh, plants uh, found in the desert vary from those uh, found in wet and humid places since india has a variety of climatic conditions a large range of natural vegetation is found here which can be divided into five types tropical rain forests tropical deciduous forests thorny bushes mountain vegetation and mangrove forests tropical rain forests are found in the regions which are warm and receive heavy rainfall these forests um, with uh, several meter tall trees are so dense that very little sun uh, sunlight reaches the ground these forests have different species of trees that shed their leaves at uh, different periods of the year therefore um, these uh, forests always appear to be green this is the reason that they are also called evergreen forests the major species found in these forests are ebony mahogany rosewood cinchona and jamun in india the rain forests are found in the western slopes of western ghats assam meghalaya west bengal odisha and the andaman and nicobar islands children tropical deciduous forests which are also called monsoon forests are found in a large part of india the trees in these forests are usually not as close together as in the tropical rain forests they have a definite leaf shedding period also from 6 uh, to 8 weeks in a year major trees of deciduous forests are teak sal uh, shisham uh, sandalwood people and neem these forests are found in uh, madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand bihar odisha uttar pradesh tamil nadu and maharashtra the third type of vegetation found in india is the thorny bushes that occur in dry regions of the country uh, they are also referred to as desert vegetation they have needle like leaves and some plants have leaves in the form of spines and that is to prevent loss of water major species of, uh, of trees found in these forests are cactuses khair kikar babool bear date palm and dhak they are found in the states of rajasthan gujarat punjab haryana parts of madhya pradesh eastern slopes of western ghats and central rocky regions of the deccan plateau uh, the fourth type of vegetation is the mountain forests they consist of different types of vegetation uh, depending on the altitude as the altitude increases temperature goes down in the high reaches between 1500 meters and 2500 meters we find coniferous forests the trees uh, conical in shape important trees found in uh, these forests include cheer pine silver fir devdar and spruces and uh, now the fifth type of vegetation that is mangrove forests they can survive in saline or salty water they are found mainly in the sundarbans in west bengal uh, pichavaram uh, in tamil nadu near chilka in odisha and in the andaman and nicobar islands the sundari tree is a common species of mangrove forests and sundarbans are named after uh, this sundari tree only 
children now let's find out the significance of forests forests perform various functions uh, they inhale uh, carbon dioxide that we exhale and in return release or exhale oxygen the life giving gas then their roots hold the sea, uh, soil firmly together and prevent soil erosion they provide produce uh, yeah, products like uh, timber uh, for furniture fuel wood fodder lac gum honey fruits medicinal plants and herbs etc forests provide natural habitats for wildlife they enable percolation of water into the ground but children a large part of natural vegetation has been destroyed due to the deforestation there is an urgent need to check deforestation so more and more trees should be planted and the existing ones should be protected it's high time for the people to be aware of the importance of trees programs like van mahotsav can be very helpful in this direction as mentioned earlier that forests are natural home for a variety of wildlife children wildlife refers to all those animals that have not been tamed or domesticated by humans wildlife is also called fauna our country has a rich and varied wildlife that includes a large variety of mammals reptiles amphibians birds worms and insects tiger uh, our national animal is found in different parts of our country mainly in the wildlife reserves set up by the government now asiatic lions are found in the gir forests of gujarat the only remaining habitat of this majestic animal the elephants uh, the elephant is found in the forests of uh, assam kerala karnataka tamil nadu and west bengal one horned rhinoceroses are found in the kajiranga national park of assam camels are found mainly in the great indian desert and wild asses dwell in the marshy run of kutch of gujarat wild goats yak snow leopards bear chiru etc are found in the himalayan region other than these many uh, other animals are there such as monkey wolf jackal leopard wild boar cheetal black buck spotted deer nilgai etc india is also rich in bird life peacock india's national bird is our pride the other birds found in india include parrots pigeons mena geese ducks hornbills bulbuls cranes herons etc the government has set up many bird sanctuaries uh, to pro provide the birds their natural habitat and to pro uh, give protection from hunters among them bharatpur bird sanctuary which is now known as uh, keoladio uh, national park is considered the largest in asia children several varieties of snakes are also found in india for example cobras crates vipers etc deforestation on a large scale has affected our wildlife directly hunting is responsible for many species of wildlife to be on the verge of extinction and a large number of animals are already extinct to protect our wildlife the government has created a number of uh, national parks wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves the government has also initiated many animal specific projects to uh, prevent them from be, uh, becoming extinct such as project tiger launched in 1973 and project elephant launched in 1992 now how can the common mass contribute in conserving wildlife children you must be knowing that several parts of the bodies of animals are used to make different things so we can do our bit to conserve wildlife by refusing to purchase such things moreover the first week of october is observed as wildlife week every year in order to uh, develop awareness about protecting the natural habitats of the animal kingdom that's all for the chapter now there are some questions for you to revise the topic 
first question explain different types of seasons found in india second question mention different types of vegetation found in india third question how are forests important for us fourth question what should we do to conserve wildlife children if you found this video helpful and wish to watch more of such content do consider subscribing to the channel and also if you have any queries or questions please write in the comment section below thank you